Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. I want to take you through a few steps on how to replace multiple images instantaneously rather than doing them one at a time. One of the mistakes I made early on when I started using Adobe InDesign is that I would replace images individually. I would click on a photo, delete it, go to file, place, or command D and just import them individually. That's okay if you're working on one, two, maybe three images. But let's just say you're working on a layout that has 10 to 15 or more images that you need to replace. I'm gonna show you a quick way of doing it to improve your workflow um, and just improve your, your efficiency when you're, when you're designing as well. So I'm going to show you this example on this page here. I have three images here. This one of the rower, this one of the mountains here, and a camp camp uh, site here. Okay, let's just say I want to replace all three of these, okay? What I'm gonna do is I won't click on any one individually. I'll just click off so I'm not selected to anything. I'm gonna go to File and Place. And I'm gonna make my way to um, the Banff tutorial here and Here's one of the shots. There's the second one, and there's the third. So I'm gonna click on this one, hold down Command or Control on a PC, click on this one, and click on this one. So I do now have three separate uh, images, different images that I could replace with, okay? So I would just click Open. And if you look at, look at my cursor here, okay? I have three images that are loaded in my cursor. You can see the bracket there with three with the bracket. Um, so use your left and right arrow keys to scroll through the images, okay? Let's see if this will take effect here. Okay, so they are changing there. As you can see, when I'm hitting left, there's just a little lag there. I'm going to hover over this image here, the first one, and I'm gonna hold down my option key. And you notice, look at the, the photo. I'm getting a separate uh, little icon there around the image icon. So while I hold down option, I'm going to click that image, and there it updated that, that first one. I'll make my way to the second image and do the same thing. I'll hold down option and then click. And then finally, I only have one more here. I'll do that option, click. And there you go. I have three images that I've just replaced on the fly um, rather than doing them individually. And then I could go back in and maneuver them or alter them within the frame himself. It's not gonna put it in the way you want, so there's still a little bit of work to do. That's fine right there. I could just do Shift Option Command C. And let's do the same thing here. Shift Option Command C. Remember, the shortcut is Shift Option Command C. But if you want to make content fit to your frame, right click, right click fitting, fill frame proportionally or fill content proportionally. Either one, um, whatever you, you uh, you want to use there. So there you go. That's a quick and efficient way of changing or replacing three images instantaneously rather than doing them one at a time. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to bringing you more. Take care and make sure that you follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.